hey guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome so today i have another hair tutorial for you on the loose waves or loose curls i should say that i was wearing in my previous video i don't think there's much else to say but if you would like to know how i go from this to this then just keep on watching i'm gonna use this curling iron and it's from babyless i think that's how you say it like babyless can you see that babyless this is the start button and this is the stop button and when you start it it starts beeping like this and here is the temperature control it has like a number system so it goes from minimum then two three four six eight and then maximum maximum is too hot for my hair i don't really need it i have fine hair so i usually use it at eight which is still a lot of heat but i just feel like my curls last longer that way i like to straighten my hair first and i've already straightened it as you can see very roughly the light stabilizes can you see it's red and it's not blinking anymore that means it's ready and it's on the temperature that i chose i'm going to use these hair clips again in this video as well and these are by craft pro reinvented i don't know just in case you're interested they were cheap and i got them from amazon it was a pack of six so i'm going to section off my top hair i'm only going to do two sections again you can either curl from the starting of your hair like from the root to the end or you can just curl on the ends and give it a more wavy effect you want to remember that you're always curling away from your face and never towards your face especially the front sections that frame your face because it just looks a lot nicer that way so i'm going to take a section about that big i would say that is about one inch i feel like a curling barrel or a tongue would be much easier than this clasp thing because i never know how to use it properly <laughs> the clasp also gets hot and i pretty much use this as a curling wand wait for about 10 seconds or less have you guys seen that video where the girl literally ends up with her hair falling out and there you have it your first curl if you have a heat protectant glove by all means wear that especially if you're a beginner because i can't even tell you how many times i've burned my hand using a curling wand if you have thinner hair or limp hair curling always gives you so much more volume without adding any extra product the thicker the section the longer it's gonna take to properly curl so always keep that in mind i never know how to do this section that is at the very back of your head so i always do it like this i sometimes like to touch this part of the hair and see if the heat has come through and if it has i open up the clamp and let it go because that means it has been curled now see this one isn't as pretty as the rest but it'll work these are the curls that we have so far and obviously as the days go by these are gonna drop even more for this side you want to hold the barrel like this and be really very careful guys away from the face this was a smaller section so it took a lot less time some people like to alternate the direction of the curls so once they'll do away from the face and then the next curl they'll do towards the face i'm not really that particular about any of it i just do it as i feel i just know that around my face i'm gonna go away from my face and then the rest of the sections don't matter if you want these curls to last spray them lightly with a hairspray i'm not gonna do that because 
I don't care about them lasting. I'm in quarantine. I'm gonna stay home. I've got nowhere to go. And I also just want to use as less product on my hair as possible. That's me always secure this spot with a hair clip and then I'm gonna secure this spot with another hair clip so that the curled sections are well separated from the undone section on top I'm gonna bring it out I'm gonna do middle part in my hair with another clip yeah this one works for me comb my hair if you do a side part then do a side part at this point actually you can do a middle part and then curl your hair according to a middle part and then flip them to whatever side you want to flip them to and you will have extra volume that way i'm gonna bring all the undone hair from the back as well to the front so that i know what i'm working with okay so this is all the hair that I have to work with and I'm gonna start with the back same thing one inch sections that are about this big is that cool looks like a snake cool a little bit in my hands scrunch it up like this so that it's as curly as possible and then release it totally forgot to mention you should use a heat protectant before you start curling your hair before you put any heat on your hair whatsoever I've not found a heat protectant that doesn't weigh down my hair so I don't use a heat protectant and when you get to the front portion remember you want to curl it away from your face it just frames your face a lot better I look crazy right now but we're gonna fix it I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this side of my head now imagine I went out like this in public I would get some crazy looks okay I'm gonna use the Batiste stylist in XXL volume spray I'm gonna usually you want to use this like right at a root where you want volume but I'm gonna use this as basically a texturizing spray I'm going to use it all over and you want to do this to your hair like this so as you guys can see I have the same amount of hair on this side and this side but this side just looks a little bit more well done this side looks a little bit more PC and tossel a lot more voluminous thanks to this you want to make sure you're rubbing it in because it does leave a white cast so this is it for today's video guys i really really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then please give a big thumbs up just as big as my hair right now and subscribe to my channel if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I have them both linked down below in the description along with all the products that are used in today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.